Hi, I'm the Lockpicking Cuba. I'm assuming you probably already know what Wordle is and maybe you've even played it a few times. If not, you may not want to watch this video, but if you're still here, have you noticed how many Wordle variants there are springing up? I did about uh, half an hour of research and found over 70 Wordle alternatives, and in this video I'm going to run through them quickly for you. So first we have the variants of Wordle that just use different length words. Wordle 2 is like Wordle, but it uses six letter words instead of five, and you still get six guesses just like in regular Wordle. Letteral, uh, as the name suggests, doesn't ask you to guess words, but individual letters, which is weird. Hello Wordle lets you choose how many letters you want in your word from four to 11, and it turns out 11 letter Wordle is actually surprisingly fun. And then there's Wordle Game, which is similar, but it also lets you choose the language of your words. Speaking of which, Wordle-like games are also available in French, Spanish, Swedish, Gaelic, German, Norwegian, Hawaiian. I could probably go on, but I'm not going to. Then we have Swerdle, which uses four-letter words. Uh, you probably know what I mean. In a similar vein, there's Loodle. Next, we have games like Dawdle, which makes you guess two words at once, or Quaddle, where you have to guess four words. There's Octordle, which has eight words, and if you're a real sucker for punishment, there's Sedecordle. Did I say that right? And this makes you guess 16 words, but you get 21 guesses, so I guess that's okay. But that's not actually as bad, I mean, as big as it gets. Killordle forces you to try to guess a thousand words at once, and if for some reason a thousand just isn't enough, there's Polydle, which lets you pick up to 2,315 words. And by the way, some of these names are really hard to say. Um, anyway, one of the reasons the original Wordle was such a viral hit is because of the decision its inventor Josh Wardle made to only allow one word per day. But for some people, that's just not enough. So we also have Wordle Unlimited and Wordmaster. And these are just like Wordle, but you can play as many times a day as you like. Wordle Archive is like Wordle 2 with six letter words, and you can also play that as many times as you like. Word Guesser lets you choose the length of the words and play many times. But if you prefer your game's multiplayer, there's a range of variants that are for you. So Squabble lets you play against 99 other people. My Wordle lets you create your own Wordle, which you can then share with other people using a word of any length you like. Wordle with Friends, I guess, plays on the success of games like Words with Friends. Wordle Cup lets you create private or public rooms to play against friends or strangers. Wordle Off, similarly, is designed to play against friends, but also has this co-op mode where you can collaborate with your friends. So we've got single-player Wordle, multiplayer Wordle, and then there's adversarial Wordle. Uh, and this isn't quite what you might think. In this one, the game itself is playing against you. It doesn't actually decide what word to give you until it absolutely has to. But once you've got to the end of the game, all the colour annotations it shows will be correct. It makes sense if you try it. I think Evil Wordle is the same, but I'm too scared to try it. Next, there are far more themed Wordles than I ever would have imagined before I started making this video. Here are the few that I found. So we have Star Wordle, which is Star Wars themed. And then there's Swordle, which is also Star Wars themed. Taylordle is somehow Taylor Swift themed. And then we have BTS theme. Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Pokemon, Harry Potter again, Supernatural, I don't know what that is, a TV show maybe? We have Birdle, which is uh, Wordle using terms from choral music. We have uh, Subwaydle, uh, where the words are actually valid New York City subway trips somehow. Um, we have Birdle, where you have to guess the bird Banding codes, I guess those codes they put on the little plastic and metal rings they put around birds' legs. We've got air portal for airport codes. Uh, Word a wazzle, the brilliantly named game for Australian slang words. We have Joodle, which features words relating to Judaism, and Queerdle, which relates to the LGBTQ plus community. And then in some cases, the things you're guessing aren't even really words. My favourite one of these is probably Worldle, where you try to guess the country from its shape on the map. Um, but then there's a bunch that ask you to guess equations like Nerdle and Mathle and Mathdle. Maybe those last two should just merge with each other. Um, and Numberl. Uh, there's Primal, which asks you to guess a prime number. And then sticking with the maths theme, there's Shapel, which if you ask me is a bit of a stretch, but they clearly based its name on Wordle, so I'm including it. There's Passwordle, where the thing you're guessing is a password. I 
feel a little bit uncomfortable about playing that one. I'm not sure why. Uh, if you're into chess, there's, yeah, you guessed it, Chessel, where you guess the chess opening, which is actually much more fun than I expected. Um, there's Global, where you have to guess a country by its location. Uh, Flaggle is about guessing flags, and Foodle is, well, yeah, you, you guessed it, I guess. Um, and now we get the random bucket of other kinds of variants. So there's Reversal, which seems like it breaks the whole point of Wordle by showing you the answer from the start. Um, but then you have to guess the sequence of guesses that led up to the answer, or something like that. And Crosswordle seems to be similar, but honestly it was kind of hard to tell what was going on with that one. Um, there's another game called Crosswordle, where the name actually seems to make more sense, because the aim here is to guess two words that intersect on a crossword-like grid. Uh, we have Squirtle, where the words are arranged in a square. Then there's Anti-Wordle, where you have to try not to guess the word, and trust me, it's harder than it sounds. Um, there's another game called Nerdle. We had a Nerdle earlier that was about guessing equations, but in this one, uh, you can make guesses for a normal Wordle word, uh, but using just any random combinations of letters. You don't have to guess with valid words. Um, we have Quirtle, uh, which features words which don't have the letter E in them. Um, then we have semantle, in which you have to guess a word by being told how hot or cold you are, how semantically close you are to the meaning of the correct word. It's ridiculously hard. Don't even try it. Um, evil wordle, which is different from the evil wordle we had before because it's spelt with a U instead of an O, and it's just kind of weird. It shows you the possible words you can choose from in the programmer's console in the browser. I don't know why. Um, in Quintessential, you have to swap letters within the grid to make it all work. There's Weirdle, uh, in which the colours can lie. Ah! And finally, there's Wheeldle, which I think is just Wordle, but it kind of looks like a game from the 1980s for some reason. So there we go, it's about 70 variants of Wordle, and honestly, I only spent about half an hour looking for them. My guess is that by now there's probably more variants of Wordle than there are atoms in the universe, so if you have a really niche interest, like turning over the corners of pages in old books or stroking narwhals or something, then I bet there's a Wordle variant out there for you. As always, thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't already, do hit that subscribe button. See you on the next video. Bye!